So here, be very careful. He's going to beam up, uh, pop some ultimates whenever possible, and try to do as much damage as possible to change phase. Hi guys, this is Alex on Casuals, and today we're going to be playing Genshin Impact, and we're going to be fighting uh, Storm Terror on uh, the level 39 difficult, and going to give you guys some tips on how to beat them. Now, like any hard encounter, make sure to come prepared to the to the fight. Bring a bunch of healing items and also buffing items. Stuff like this item are really really good, uh, which are all made by cooking, obviously. Uh, you can get the attack and crit one, you can just get maybe uh, physical damage ones, I think it's uh, this item, uh, so it's really useful. You can also get like uh, offensive and defensive uh, food buff, and you can also get some healing regen and stuff like this, healing regen like this. So these are really useful against this encounter. Now for the party setup that I'm going to be running, I'm going to run my usual setup. I'm not going to change too much my, my group since, uh, I mean, I've invested in these characters. So just try to obviously get the attack as high as possible on each of your characters. Make sure that all of your feathers and artifacts are ranked up as much as possible. Uh, that's going to have a good impact. Um, also make sure to always have at least two matching bonuses of sets. Either a two set piece or a four set piece. Uh, well, two, two set piece actually. Or a four set piece uh, with as much damage in as possible and in my case uh, I did change my uh, traveler the main character to a geo element uh, since it's really gonna help against storm terror instead of animal as for any boss encounter make sure to come prepared and have all your four of your ults ready so that's gonna at least give you a bit of a bonus and if you have barber you can also heal your group now the main loot that we can actually get from the level 39 uh, difficulty is um, I mean some accessories and stuff like this and some gems and the the, the adventure XP but I'm what I'm mostly looking forward to is this uh, Northlander sword prototype which is basically uh, a requirement to craft a four star weapon in this case I wanted a sword which I really want for my uh, for Kea since he doesn't have one yet so do note that this the treasure refresh every Monday at 4 a.m. and it is a weekly encounter and it costs 60 resin to actually collect the the treasure so as mentioned this is the group that we're going to bring with us obviously try to optimize the equipments of your character as much as possible it should be pretty straightforward uh, in my case i'm not using a ranged character as you may have noticed and this is going to make the encounter a bit different for me uh, it's going to mean that whenever the boss is actually going to uh, be empty of his armor bar uh, you're going to have to climb on his on, on his neck to be able to uh, do some damage basically since you're going to be hitting that uh, spine thing so in this case we have to wait for him to actually land so try to avoid most of the attacks uh, that he's going to do and whenever he does uh, bring his face close by make sure to swipe him in my case i'm also going to be using uh, kaya as a meat shield and um, so here be very careful he's going to beam up uh, pop some ultimates whenever possible and try to do as much damage as possible to change phase. Whenever he does this, hurry up and uh, climb on top of his uh, neck and pop whatever you can to do as much damage as possible. And really uh, benefit from this damage phase. Let's go, let's go, burn him up and he's back up. So we did a really good uh, chunk of damage for the level 39 encounter. So now we're going to actually uh, swap back to Kaya, our uh, damage uh, soaker guy. And uh, this encounter has a few cutscenes. And at some point, I think like right now, he's actually going to uh, damage the, um, the platforms. So if you stay on the platforms um, that are cracked, you're going to be taking damage over time. As long as you're actually touching the ground. So we're going to be slowly heading towards the platform that's not cracked. That's intact. You could sit, uh, see it on by looking at the, the background of the map a little bit. Um, and this is one. I'm Actually, right now there's multiple of them that are not cracked. But by the end of the encounter, they're probably going to be all cracked. So you have to be really careful. Now we're just going to try and dodge as much as possible with a character that we... In my case, is not as useful because he's uh, just not as strong since he has a three-star weapon right now, even though it's been refined a few times. So we're going to try... Whoops, we're going to swap character just not to damage our main. 
So we're gonna try. Oh boy, taking damage. We're just gonna stick in it. it doesn't matter. It's Kaya. So we're swapping back. We're climbing on that neck. Let's go, big boy. And we're gonna try to do as much damage as possible. We're also gonna heal up real quick. Uh, it's not the best time ever to do this, but it's fine. Pop the damage. Oh, so close. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have helped heal then try to do actually more damage. It's fine. Oh, he's landing back down, so let's try to... Actually, I think that Frost actually heals him. Oh, swapping. Break that uh, armor. Alright. So, we're actually pretty lucky on the phase right now. Uh, this usually is not this easy. Um, the first time I did this, I actually struggled quite a bit. But um, this was a really good uh, encounter. And we were lucky with the um, the cycles, I guess. So yeah, once you manage to defeat him, uh, you just go collect your loot. But the most important part of this encounter... Oh my god, the sword is right there. The most important part of the encounter is to actually really dodge this big beam, frost beam. Because that thing is going to melt you down. Obviously, swapping platform is very important as well. The most important part is to melt his armor, and once the armor is down, just climb on his neck, hit that clog thing on his back, and uh, do as much damage as possible. So now that we have the the prototype, we can actually craft another four-star weapon. Uh, th with this one's gonna go for Kaya. Uh, so we're actually gonna build uh, the one that the same that I'm currently using on my main character, which is the one that gives attacks and defense uh, up to four stacks, which doesn't last very long, because the alternative right now is a shield, which personally I don't really want. Eventually, you might also unlock a character that you're gonna be able to have a, a bonus whenever you're crafting this type of stuff. So uh, very important to keep in mind. So right now we're just gonna craft it like this. We have a new four-star weapon, and if few seconds there you go we're gonna equip this bad boy we're gonna enhance it obviously actually should have kept more um, three star stuff a uh, two star I mean um, let's see here just in case I'm just missing like a small amount of XP's. I'm gonna put four and then I guess... There you go. Now we're gonna ascend it at least once. Now we're gonna try and max it. I mean I could. I'm not gonna use this sword again so... Is it only giving three levels? <gasps> No, it's not. Okay, so it's giving more than I thought. I, I didn't understand why it wasn't like adjusting the uh, amount of XP's. Okay, I mean, let's do this. That's a decent amount. We only live once, right? <laughs> <laughs> just messing. So level 40, uh, we are going to try and hunt these materials to ascend it even further. Uh, if we look at the attributes, uh, I said attributes. Yeah, he, he went up quite a bit. So now the next step is going to be to bring him level 50. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found it useful. If you did, uh, well, consider leaving a like and subscribing. You can also join us on Discord. The link is going to be in the description bar. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.